Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ramita. How are you today? So today I decided to film a video that is very different from the content that I usually post. I've wanted to make this video for a while because I'm very passionate about this topic and I've actually spent many years developing these habits myself. And a lot of successful people actually don't talk about them. So here are the six millionaire habits that have changed my mindset and my life completely and help me become a millionaire myself at a young age. This first one is very important to me and I think a lot of you will benefit from this too. Planning your next day the night before. Personally, in the past, I used to wake up in the morning, go on my phone and spend hours just being on social media and then thinking of what am I gonna do today? How do I become productive? What are the plans? And I know a lot of you can also relate to this because you wake up and it's eight in the morning and you're like, oh, let me sit on my phone for a little bit. And then the next time you see the clock and it's 10 a.m., two hours went by. And by the time you get up from your bed, do your all morning activities, have breakfast, talk to your family, you're tired. So at this time, it's probably afternoon and now you're thinking about what am I gonna do today? How am I gonna be productive? And it leaves you only with a couple of hours during the day to actually be productive. And even though you think those couple of hours will make you productive and you'll do everything that you wanted to do during the day, trust me, by that time, you're exhausted and you're probably not putting your 100% into what you're doing. So what I found out that helped me a lot is planning my day right before I go to sleep. For example, last night, I knew that I had to study for my PhD, I had to go to the gym, I had to make this video and also do some TikTok videos. Then what I like to do is dividing my tasks into the most difficult to the least difficult. For me, mental activity is the most difficult thing in the whole world. So the first thing in the morning, what I do is I study for my PhD exam and that takes me a couple of hours. Then I like to do some physical activity and then I go to the gym. And now I'm left off with making this video and also filming some TikToks. YouTube videos are a little harder to film because you're sitting in front of the camera for like an hour sometimes less, sometimes more. So I like to do those types of tasks beforehand. And then TikTok videos, I'll do right after filming this one. It's important to divide your tasks from the most difficult to the least difficult, just because in the morning, you probably drink coffee. So you have the most energy, right? Maybe for you, the most difficult activity is actually going to the gym. So maybe go to the gym in the morning and then do everything else that's productive later. But planning out your day the night before will actually save you a lot of time during the day and you'll probably complete your tasks way earlier than you usually would. If you found this first habit helpful, give this video a like and let's go into the next one. So this one kind of ties to the first one. It's waking up early, but make sure you get eight hours of sleep at least. I don't know about you, but for me, every time the sun sets, my body just feels tired and exhausted and it's like, okay, the day's done. So I found out that waking up in the morning actually gives me more time, so more daytime to complete and to be productive as much as I want until my body naturally starts giving up. But I also know that some people actually like to work at night, so it just depends on person to person. The next habit that I'm gonna be talking about, I don't think a lot of people have a strong understanding on, and it is how to save money and invest. I've developed this habit over the past five years while growing my personal brand on social media. At the same time, I was also a full-time student studying business, so it's easier for me to kind of, you know, connect those two together. I'm pretty sure we all hear about these influencers and athletes that get a million dollar contract and they spend that money on buying designer clothes, expensive cars, and I mean like expensive cars, and then when they become irrelevant and lose their contracts, they go broke. Even regular people, as their income grows, their expenses start growing too because they upgrade their car, they buy a new house, or they just buy clothes that are more expensive. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean that I'm not treating myself because I like treating myself, but once in a while. Just be mindful of how much you're spending according to your income. And since I'm saving most of my money, I make sure to invest it so my money can make more money. The next one is probably the hardest one to develop, but it's having a business mindset. You know all the big companies that you see nowadays? Do you think they started big? No, they probably started from zero and a lot of people probably told them that it's not gonna work out. So if you have an idea of starting a business or you want to be a TikToker, or a YouTuber or do your own podcast, do not listen to what others say. A couple of years ago, a lot of people would tell me that YouTube, 
TikTok or any other social media job was not a real job. But I'm here sitting right in front of you telling you that it is a real job because you make real money. I've heard a lot of stories of people saying how they want to become YouTubers, but as soon as they think about of how they want to actually do that, their mind goes blank and they stop. Honestly, if you find yourself in that situation where you go blank and you don't know how to start something, you have internet right in front of you and internet has everything literally everything this next habit a lot of people know about it but it's honestly really hard to implement in your daily life even for me you know the feeling when you eat something and then you just feel really tired and bloated and just like not energized after that's not eating healthy especially with our crazy busy lives and fast food and delivery being so quick it's hard to stay healthy. I'm still working on this habit myself and I know that food is our main source of energy. Obviously, depending on the type of food we eat is the type of energy we're gonna get. I don't even wanna expand on drinking water. It's just healthy for you. Drink water. This last habit is something that you always have to keep in mind. It's to love what you do. A lot of people don't start their business or work on themselves just because they're afraid to fail. But it's important to have a positive mindset. It's important to stay motivated and absolutely love what you do. Even if you fail, you can always pick it up from where you failed and start again. Also, make sure you enjoy every success that your business brings you. For example, if you're working on your website for your business brand and you finally finished it, take your time and enjoy it. This is a huge step forward just because you are creating something for your own business. And even though you're tired and you felt like you spent so much time on working on the website, you did it. Stay motivated and keep going. So those are the habits that have changed my mindset and my life completely. And I'm sharing this video in hopes that it'll change some of your lives too. And please guys, feel free to let me know if you like these type of videos in the comments because it is a little different. And if you wanna see more these types of video, me talking about business, finance, investments, or anything else, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.